Middle of the road is basically where this next leader lies. Not incredibly fit, not very unhealthy, just average with maybe a questionable mind as if it has been an afterthought. And I swear to God, if anybody uses this to make a pun about being forgetful, I'll probably say nothing because it is funny. But yeah, Joe Biden, generally fit, generally healthy diet, but he seems to be plagued with falling related injuries. Granted, he's nearly 80 years old at this point, but even in his prime, he never really looked any more or less healthy at any point. It's easy to shame excess when it causes obesity. But there is something uniquely upsetting to the mind knowing someone just remained average. There really isn't much about Biden's physical health out there besides these various times he's fallen down from stairs, tripped going upstairs, fell off of a bike, and I could probably keep going on and on a few more times about that, but falling in advanced age is a major contributor to death. In fact, the CDC has falling-related injuries listed as the number one injury-related death for people over 65. And while falling can be due to many different things, including neurological issues and medication, exercise is a strong hedge against these injuries. Simply put, one broken hip can be the difference between a few years or a few more days left on this planet. And it begs the question, if you had only the choice between a healthy body or a healthy mind, which would you choose? Which leads us into this next person, and maybe that will help some of you answer this. Probably in the comments, super civilly. Like, people will definitely not be arguing and talking shit in the comments at all, not even a little bit. That's right, guys, the person the other half of the viewers are gonna be crying about in the comments, Trump. Something of a paragon of laziness and gluttony, oftentimes outwardly so, with pride. Trump seems to have had no record of health issues as a child and was instead quite healthy and born into a luxurious life. It is his exercise routine that is truly interesting though, stating, oh God, do I do this in the impression? I get exercise, I mean I walk, no. I get exercise, I walk, I this, I that, I run over to a building next door. I get more exercise than people think. I don't quote him to say walking is an exercise. Getting 10,000 steps a day is no small feat, assuming he's doing so. But when coupled with this next quote, it seems to be something of an aversion to exercise, unless it's walking from one hole golfing to the next. A lot of people go to the gym. They'll work out for two hours and all, Trump said. I've seen people. Then they get their new knees when they're 55 years old and they get their new hips and they do all those things. I don't have those problems. In the book Trump Revealed, he explained his battery theory. Basically, there's a finite amount of energy or life force and if you use it on sports and exercise, you will deplete it and die. Aside from the fact quite literally the opposite is true. Maybe he just sees it as time away from his work, but then again, we know exercise also improves the function of your brain. So Trump has not been shy about his preference for fast food and less healthy food options. During his campaign and presidency, he was reported to have a fondness for items like hamburgers, fried chicken, diet soda. Oddly enough, he doesn't drink, but talking about his love of fast Fast food honestly kind of just feels like a cheap dunk after the infamous White House fast food buffet for a college football team. Again, to give the most generous conclusion possible, he's busy. He doesn't have time to cook, but oh wait, he has personal chefs, so never mind. His weight being supposedly around 250 during his presidency and now supposedly around 215 as of getting booked into Fulton County would be impressive, but I don't know that either of those numbers are fully verifiable. So now back to that question. If you had to choose between a dwindling mind or a sluggish body, which would you choose? We've seen several examples of both here. Would you want something more akin to that of Stephen Hawking? Brilliant, but no mobility without assistance? Or a functioning body, but a slowly degrading mind? And whatever your answer for that is, I'm just gonna guess who you voted for because I don't know, I think it'll be funny. I know that was a lot, but there is even more context explained in that top video right there. Click that and I'll see you there later.